So one day, I was craving something cinnamony, like warm and apple pie-y and delicious -y. But I didn't have anything like that in the house, so I was like, ugh, what can I do? I remember that I really loved the cinnamon toast in elementary school that the lunch lady used to make. So she used to just get like a piece of toast and put some, probably margarine back then. Um, I used butter. And then put a little cinnamon on top, stick it in the toaster oven. So I was like, ooh, I want to do that. So I couldn't find the cinnamon in the cabinet, even though it was there. Um, but I found uh, pumpkin pie spice. But what's funny about pumpkin pie spice is there's no pumpkin in it. It's just like a combination of lovely spices for pumpkin pie. So I got some pumpkin pie spice, and then I got some organic raw sugar, and I did like kind of 50-50. It was probably too much. You could probably do a lot less pumpkin pie spice, um, and then a lot more sugar, but I did half and half. Mixed it up in a little jar. Drizzled it over the tortilla, and closed my eyes. I didn't close my eyes. It was so good. It was like instant fall and warmth and deliciousness. So one morning when you wake up, or one middle of the night, or one afternoon, when you're craving that warmth of the holidays and that, mmm, my mouth is watering, seriously. Um, you know, pull a piece of toast out of the fridge, or a tortilla, um, or a crusty piece of baguette. Whoa, go crazy. And uh, slather some nice butter on it. I, what I would do, and I didn't do this before, is I would slather the butter, then I would sprinkle it with your pumpkin pie spice and sugar mixture, and then I would stick it in the toaster oven for a few minutes. I would just toast it um, so it like sinks in. It's so good.